What's up guys? Welcome to another Small Win Wednesday where we give you one super actionable tip that you can apply to your life or business right now. Clearly, not sitting in my basement filming video today with my good buddy Barrett. Say hi Barrett. Hi Barrett. Should have saw that one coming. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the best ways to get started with email marketing because no matter what type of business you build online, whether it's a blog, an info product, even freelancing, building your email list is one of the best ways to market what you're doing and well, Barrett's kind of an expert at that. So we're gonna take you up to the mountain with us. So I've never skied with Barrett before and he says he knows how to ski, but I've got my doubts. Um, let's just hope he's not holding me up. Some days are better than others. Some days are better than others. I think this is gonna be one of those days. I think so too. It's not not crowded. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly the most relevant time to talk about email marketing is when you're sitting at the base of a, a giant mountain. I got Barrett here, COO of ConvertKit. He knows a thing or two about email marketing, so I figure let's take the opportunity, let's interrupt his ski day, and uh, ask him what he thinks the best tips are and the best starting points for people to get started with email marketing are. How's your day going? Great. Brought, so, my, brought my special hat just for this occasion. I appreciate that because I didn't bring a hat. Yeah. I just brought a dorky looking helmet. Yeah, well. If I take the helmet off, I've got dorky looking hair. Indeed. You look good though. Hey, thanks. So, because we clearly are in the perfect environment to be talking about email marketing, yeah, um, I would love to know, yeah. someone who's just starting to build their email list, mm -hmm. what is the best tip you have for them? I apologize ahead of time, but um, be interesting is my first tip for email marketing. Just like blogging, podcasting, YouTubing, uh, whatever you're doing, I think people want to pay attention to people that are interesting. And that's even more true when they're giving you, you permission to be in their inbox. Uh, if you're not giving them something that they care about, they're not going to subscribe to your email list. So you have to figure out what is it that's uniquely valuable that you can offer? What is it that you know more about than the people coming behind you? And then how can you frame that to them in a really short call to action on an opt-in form or a landing page that gets them to understand, oh, Sean, totally. He can teach me all about living the nomad lifestyle while earning a great living as a freelancer or an entrepreneur that's worth me giving him my email address. You need to find your equivalent to that. Barrett, how, uh, how are we doing with uh, the conditions today? A little icy. Uh, it's really working the IT bands, you know, really get the uh, hard workout in on the turns. It's best just to go straight down the mountain. So you're interesting. Everybody yeah. thinks they're interesting. Of course. So how do you actually get people to opt in to give you the chance to be interesting? Right, right, right. So this is, people always ask, okay, great. So I gotta be interesting. Everyone has to be interesting online. Um, fair point, fair point. So um, forms and landing pages. A form is the thing that someone puts their name and email address and whatever else you ask them for. They give you their actual information through a form or a landing page. The thing about a form or a landing page is it's got to pitch you or whatever you're offering to a person in such a way that makes them say, my email address uh, protecting my email address is less valuable than getting the thing that you're about to give me. There's two ways I think about this. One would be giving them something. So uh, audio file of your latest soundtrack or a template for freelance copywriting or an ebook about a topic that you know everything about or a guide to buying the best pair of skis when you want to ski Mount Hood. Whatever that might be, that's one way to get people to opt in. Here's the scary part about using opt-in incentives, that's the industry term for them, is people might give you their email address just to get the thing and then unsubscribe. So you've still got to find a way to hook them in. And I think the best way to hook people in is for your actual content or the thing that you're sending out on an ongoing basis on your email list for that to be interesting as well. So maybe you give something away, but the second way most often that I see people uh, gaining email subscribers is because their content's really good. So our, our mutual friend, James Clear, he's got uh, an email list where he sends out his latest content about forming great habits to everyone on there. He's got like 500,000 email subscribers, which is incredible. 
and he gives almost nothing away to his email list up front. He just says, I'm going to send you my best content first. And because James's articles are so interesting in and of themselves, they're so high quality, everyone wants to give their email address so that they can get them immediately when it gets published. So I'd say the second tip I have for you is if everything you publish is highly relevant, highly impactful, and can help someone be entertained, uh, educated, or just have a good laugh throughout the day, then you've probably got a good chance for people to give you their email address. I didn't even tell him he was gonna do this. I was like, bro, I'm gonna put you on camera and say something interesting, and here you go. Like, this is why I've got interesting friends that are smarter than I am. Why a beginner should sign up for ConvertKit. We make beautiful email software that is easy to use, but as powerful as the pro tools that you might see across the industry. Thanks, Barrett. Yeah, man. If you like this video, we've got new videos every Wednesday. What's up, Barrett? Make sure to hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know every time we've got a fantastic new video from a freaking mountain that's coming out. I mean, how awesome is this? And uh, sign up for the email list as well. You know, we actually, I personally, not we, I use ConvertKit. I am a big fan of it. I don't get a friends and family discount, Barrett. We should work on that. Can we talk about this? I pay just like everybody else. I think it's fantastic, especially for the person that's just getting going with their email list. We're gonna have a lot more content on that. I'll have a couple links below for some of the best ways I think you should grow your email list. And with that, we got some skiing to do. So we'll see you later. I hope you have a fantastic week. And uh, let me know what you what you think of the on location videos. This is something uh, we might try a little bit. So Barrett, any, any parting words? Remember to have fun. That's the core. If you're not having fun, you're not doing good work.